I'm Neil Jacobstein, co-chair of AI and Robotics at Singularity University and a visiting scholar at Stanford University in the MediaX program. There are three main vectors in artificial intelligence, a subfield of computer science that deals with creating machines that behave in ways that we would call intelligent if humans did them. The three main vectors are machine learning, curated knowledge, and reverse engineering the brain. In the area of machine learning, we have recognizers, systems of hierarchical pattern recognizers, that are set up to recognize patterns such as which molecules would be the most promising molecules to be used in next generation drugs. In the area of curated knowledge, there's been a long history of reverse engineering human knowledge and the thinking that experts do by doing knowledge engineering on an expert's problem-solving patterns and reproducing the problem-solving steps that an expert does in a computer system. The problem with expert systems is that they tend to be brittle and are only really effective if the knowledge is relatively static. And then there's a third area of AI, which has to do with reverse engineering the human brain. And why would we want to do that? The answer is that the human brain is the only example of a machine that has the broad, deep, and subtle intelligence that we associate with human intelligence. So reverse engineering that, at least to understand the principles of operation, turns out to be very important. And we can use a variety of sensors, such as EEG, to get an idea of what parts of the brain perform which functions, and then eventually how the brain performs those functions. And then we attempt to emulate those functions in either hardware or software. An example of an AI system that combines pieces of all three approaches is IBM's Watson system that recently won against the two world champion Jeopardy players when it was not connected to the internet and had to interpret a variety of answers that uh, were part of the Jeopardy game that included puns and double entendre and really complicated answers where the Jeopardy game requires the players to provide the questions associated with those answers and Watson interpreted the answers correctly and came up with questions associated with those answers in a way that outperformed its human competition. And it didn't just outperform the human competition, it trounced the human competition by about three to one. 